everybody! Welcome to Nerfcast! Yo. Today, we finally, finally got our hands on, on the talk of the Nerf town. Oh. Wow. I don't wanna go. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was, wow. Oh, I was, I wanna go. Alright. Should we Every start with the lows and end with the highs? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. I won't do this. We worked real hard to be like the last to bring you these blasters in our opinions. Oh, and yeah. If you expect to see these things get fired today, not gonna happen. All out of luck. For various these, reasons. These are mostly not worth our time to individually review, so you're just getting them all on Nerfcast. Boom. That's right, I said it. So I know I know everybody's like, oh, what's going on? I was in the chaos. From Arjang to back, we've got Boom Shaklaka. The, the big Nerf boy chaos. Chaos. Yeah. With a K. So it already gets one bonus point for me for, for bad adding literacy. K. So right. it's adding a plus to whatever grade it gets. We'll see how it turns out. Yup. Yep. Second, we've got the Nerf Atlas, which is, is really weird. Because is it shrugging? It, it's it's smaller, right? So you think that right. this would be the big one? <laughs> you would think, right? You would. Th no, he just got to hold a big thing, right? But no, but it's chaos, it's chaos with a K. Anytime you misspell something, it has to be bigger to make up for it. All right. right. Yeah. And then we've got the Doomlands, which is a sub brain of Nerf, and it's a sub brain of Doomlands called Impact Zone. So you got a sub sub, so it's subception brand, Desolator. Desolator. Now, not to be confused oh, with a blaster that was probably supposed to be in the Star Wars line and just Burn. they had it left over. You ain't lying. Um, so, Wait, we did. The good shit. You got, you got, oh. You're on like the all-white side. No, no. Yeah, there you Boom, go. deco. And then no deco. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they all like that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. so that's Nerf's new we thing. We printed things on one side, but not the other. Nerf's new thing is Great deco, side. no deco. So, um, oh, side. I mean, let's, oh. we might as well, why don't we go, there you go. we go high to low. Price-wise. Price-wise. I'm down. I'm down. So, this is our the Nerf Chaos is coming to you at $69.99 United States dollars. It's not ruples. That's not yen. That is $69.99 United States dollars. It takes six, count them, 60 batteries. So you're adding another $15-ish for your there, yeah. batteries. Give or take, yeah. For your batteries, okay? It comes with 40 rounds of ammunition, and it also comes with this spiffy new 40-round clip. Holds yep. 40 rival balls. We yep, all know yep. the rival rounds are more accurate than the Nerf rounds. Nerf Elite darts suck. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, something, yada, something, yada. something. So that's kind of the statistics on it. So uh, we can just give our overall opinion. Ooh. Ooh. I wish Ooh, I had uh, I wish I had a seventh hand. <laughs> so I could give this blaster seven thumbs down. Minus. Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I like plus. about it, honestly, is the size. I just like bigger blasters. But other than that... Just not much else so, to it. So, let me tell you a little story. And then in the comments... Oh, no. no Wait, I can't what, tell story, story. what story are you going to tell? I'm going to tell a story about how it doesn't work. Oh, yeah, you oh, tell okay, story. Oh, okay, that story. Right, so, yeah. bust it. I'm not going to lie. So, everyone's else put out range test stock. So, what we've been doing lately is uh, we're just, we just slap quick IMRs in it. Um, I know. I know. Oh, my God. Rob, I know you hate. And whoever else hate. Hate, hate, hate. Bobo, hate, 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 hate. A lot of hate for IMRs. It's a quick way to see how performance can be increased with a better power source. Not the best power source, because that would be LiPo. But, and it's worked out so far. For some reason, maybe we got a bad one, I don't know. I could not get it to work with more than two IMRs without shutting down. Yep. We tried three, we tried four. My dummy batteries are solid. I've got Ds that you convert into As. I've been running this, ran it on the Mastodon, uh, Mastodon with four IMRs and it was awesome. Yeah. No trip. We ran it for Sweet. at least 30 minutes. No problems whatsoever. Thing didn't shut down on us at all. This thing cut out. The thermistors must be more sensitive. I don't know. I don't blame Hasbro. No. So if you're going to get this, you're going to have to put a better power source in it. You're not going to be able to do any drop in. You're not going to be able to drop anything in. You're going to have to go full LiPo. Yeah, you're going to have to rewire it. You have to rewire it. You do. Yeah, I would, if you're gonna open it up to rewire it, you might as well just go full lipo. Yeah. So then add that cost if you don't have a lipo charger, another thirty bucks. Yep. Battery probably five bucks. But you want two, so ten bucks into that cost. So now you're looking at you're you're pushing that hundred dollar limit. Oh yeah, easy. For that price, go to Out of Darts website, check them up on Facebook, um, and just get a higher can. Yep. So, yeah, I completely agree. Spend that money. I, I would I would one hundred percent the same way. I prefer the compactness of the Hurricane, and if you're gonna bother modding, then you might as well do that. This is nice, but the, the magazine is giant, so even if they do sell them individually, you, I mean, I don't know, 
where you're gonna put these on you. They're a pain to load. Uh, it's just based on the cost of like a narrow base, a narrow base um, uh, clip holder. Yeah, like fifteen bucks. You're probably looking at a forty dollar clip holder just to hold an extra one of those. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean they're just and then the magazines are probably about thirty bucks. So you're looking at probably seventy bucks just to hold your mag. Yeah, they're a cool, they're a fun enough blaster to shoot stock, right? Yeah. I mean it's it's a full auto rival, which we knew they were coming out with. We're yep. happy yep. about. Sure. I mean, but other than that, it's for Josh. He's got two flip ups. Okay. Yeah, I don't give a crap ups? about flip ups. Oh. Oh. That's how bad it is. That's how it's I, got a, I don't uh, care. Yeah. It does have a safety on it, which is nice, but it's only for right handers. So if yep. you're a lefty, you're not going to be able to engage the safety. Right there, yeah. Well, yep. I mean, you might be able to, but it'd be really weird. Yeah. Like you have to take your. Yeah, so um, oh, I do. The magazine is a pain in the ass, not just to load the rival rounds into, but to actually get into the yeah, blaster. Yeah, it's got grooves. You gotta I mean, like fiddle and... It's gonna be say, lined up just to right. To get something with Rival to hold 40 rounds, we knew it was gonna be over-engineered. Oh, sure. Um, I'm sure the next one they'll make better design choices. The mag does do something nice. At least it has a topper that doesn't let the balls fly out. Yes. That's the one positive thing that I can is, say about this. That is definitely good. Um, an extendable stock would have been nice. I think the stock's a little short for how big the blaster is. It is a little I, bit on the tiny I side. I do like the battery. I will say I like the battery tray. Battery tray goes right here. Battery tray is fully removable. Giant. And it doesn't have those little uh, things you switch to, you know, push the battery backwards and forwards. They're in every battery tray. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah the like, batteries. Yeah, to, yeah. The little just plastic things. The little that, plastic dividers. Yeah. Those things suck. And they're a pain. Yeah. This thing, I like the tray. The tray is amazing. The tray's nice. It's like rapid strike. It's removable. Like, it's cool. So it's a nice feat of engineering yes. for target shooting. Yep. But for actually playing with, yeah, it's gonna I need feel like it's just not I, worth your money. I'm sure with the, I mean, if you want to put the work into it, here's what I do. I'll give it I'm one. I'm sure people will do cool things. Here's one pro. Sure they will. One pro on it, not nerf related. Mm -hmm. This will make an amazing cosplay blaster. Sure. It's, it's giant. They're I mean, like a big Gears cool. of War style. Gears of War, Halo, you put like, like a, that. You put a nice little uh, little chainsaw on this thing. It'll look, it'll look pretty giant. sick. You paint that up in normal... Like um, gun colors. Yeah, it's gonna look. It's look pretty sick. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a neat blaster. It's just for the game. I don't think it brings anything no, to the table. No, it doesn't add. It doesn't all. add anything that hasn't already been done and done better. Yep. Um, and done better for about the same price, which is really sad. Right. So I agree. Yep. That's it. Next, yes. Atlas. The, the Atlas. I shrugged. The Shrugginator 2000. Uh, yeah, it's uh, so really like a lot of things about it. It just doesn't hit the spot. And I mean, I mean that in every way, shape, and form. Uh, it loads from the top. I actually don't mind it because it goes in really easy, comes out really easy. You just slam it in. You don't have to do that little door that you had to do on the original uh, Zeus. What's the retail price? Uh, 30, 40, 40 bucks. 39.99. 39, 39, 39, okay. Um, I like I like the prime. It's a little there, so you can tell there's some gears or something because it, it goes really smooth, but it's a little bit noisy. Mm -hmm. um, problem. The problem is the distance. Yeah. And the fact that you only get six shots because it's it's a twelve round magazine, you're pumping two out at a time, yep. and one goes a little bit further. And but the one kind of has a big drop off. Oh yeah, they just they 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 don't, don't give you the range. It's 30, 40 feet, like max. Yeah. It's just it's just bad. Um, I like the idea. If this was a single shot blaster, if they put all of that and you were compressing the air and shooting those things sixty feet, seventy feet. I think this would be an awesome blaster. I would tell you to go buy it for forty dollars. Fifty feet. Even yeah, honestly, even one, fifty. One shot with the accurate as rival is. Right, just though. If it was just yeah. a basically a single shot version of the other rival blaster, I'd yeah. be happy. Yeah, if it was the Apollo yeah. under prime. The, the Apollo yeah, under I mean, prime. Under prime. Uh, I, I love it. I love yeah. it. I love the. I love the way it looks. Feels. I actually like the, front way, I like the way it looks. I really. It's also very gears of war. Like a futuristic spas. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, it's. I, I like it. I like it. I do. Yeah. So I like the look of it. I like the way it primed. I thought the prime was surprisingly easier than I thought it was going to be. It definitely, you could hear the gears grind, yeah. which is satisfying and scary at the same time. Yep. Um, I didn't like, I like the way the mag releases out yep. and puts in. It was a lot easier than I expected. We were screwing with it. Like, it can't be this easy. Like, we didn't believe it, as easy as it was, we didn't believe it was going to be that easy. Yep. And the, um, uh, the jam door is really easy to get to. That's a big jam door, too. Giant, you can put like fingers in here for, I got three fingers so in here. For I this, can fit four if I really need to. For this thing to work for me, there's gonna have to be a way to make it single load. You have a single shot. If if, if, you, if someone can do an easy mod to make it single, and I might open this up, make it single load, that would fix, and, and that fixes the performance issue. I'm good. I'm, I'm 12 shots is more than enough for me to run. I, I I've run 12 rounds in a retaliator, so. Yep. And, and I got a question for whoever's designing nerf stuff. What what is why you keep putting little pokeballs on everything? Like what 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 with that? 
We've been doing that for like a minute. They're just all over like all these blasters. I know they're supposed to look like little like, they don't really look like screws. That's Pokeball. Future screws. In the future, all screws will be Pokeballs. That's, you gotta put your incense on that. Oh, uh, there you go. That's, I mean, Pokemon the Nerf go. rival lore. There you go. I'm down. That's big grip too, the big front. Primary. Yeah, I mean, I think it's gonna have the same, like I said, yeah, same I issue. Aesthetics of the barrel, little ported barrels. Look, it looks nice. Looks it's nice. a great looking blaster. People use it for cosplay. Uh, you got one sling mount here, yeah, so it looking, could be good. Good looking, nothing upstairs. It's not gonna, it's not gonna do it for me, at least. So, uh, all right, that's the Atlas. The last one we have is the Nerf Doomlands uh, Impact Zone Desolator. Impact Zone. So it retails for twenty nine ninety nine. You get a ten round um, banana. Clipazine with, with a cool little bumper on the bottom. I like um, it. But tell you what, of the three we played with today, this one by far and away was my favorite, and I did not expect that. I expected this to be last. Yep, 100%. Because, you know, you know how we feel about stray free shells. I, don't I mind. totally expected this to be last. I didn't think it was going to be first by a lot. I like the first order look to it. I yeah. really like the Very white star it's yeah. Very, It matches my, uh, my uh, other blaster, my Stormtrooper blaster. Performance was a little under elite, um, but we were firing with two IMRs and FVJs and hitting 70 plus feet. Yeah. It wasn't, you know, we forgot we had FVJs in it. Yeah. We were like, wait a minute, what's, what's wrong with this thing? Uh, it does trip on a third immediately. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which is not the same as a strife. A strife, you can run three and be okay. The thermistor trips immediately on a third. Yeah. So it'll, it'll take some little bit of wiring work. Um, but here's the main thing. So uh, Jangle McJangles has a strife. This is the Bobo strife. Get, get those right up there. Just get, get it all up in there. Yeah, there you go. So it's like a Strife lost a lot of weight. Yeah, it's nice. It's sleek. It's really sleek. Really light. Um, the stock is obviously built in. So for bigger folks, it, it's going to be a little tough, tough to shoulder. They helped you out by putting a curved, they built in like a curved front rest, hand rest right here. Grip hand rest? Yeah, know. sure. Grip, grip rest. They built a nice grip little rest. spot for you to cur curve and hold your hand right here. It's actually got finger grooves for it. Really comfy. I like it. Uh, I love the finger grooves. Now, if we switch, if you're a, if you're a Josh size person, oh yeah, that is the SMG you've oh, been I looking love for. This. this is so perfect. Oh, that's like, that's it right there. <laughs> Got two tack rails on it. It's one in the back for no reason, and then one 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 up in the front, which will be cool. If we pull a little tight camera, camera right? coming out right. Yeah, no, I mean I'm down. I like it. I like this. You got the little. Um, the, the, the mount, point? the sling point right there. You got a couple. You, you, I don't know if you really use these as a sling point, but this one's nice. Yeah, I like it. I, I'm yeah. taking it. It's got a sling point up front too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. that one there. Yeah. But I like it. It's. it's I so mean, sleek. it's light enough. Like you could run two. Super just light. Fine. Oh, you could. You could definitely oh, yeah. kimbo it. Let's see. So, being unscientific as I am, it feels about as the same weight as a strife. Yep. Except it's got the whole back part for the... Kind of right. evens it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it's definitely... Man, I like it. I like it a lot. I like I'm, it a lot. I just thought I was I'm like, a it's a strife, redo, whatever, who cares. But... I did, they did it right. I, they did it right. I like the way it looks. I definitely like I the like color. I like the clear. I like the clear. I'm going to take... i got to remove the dark skirt, but, you it, know, that's... The, the thing is, it just gives you options, right? If you yeah. want a strife, you could go with something like this if you like it. If you want more customizability because you're going to use it for... A variety of scenarios get a regular strife and then you know put on different barrels and different uh stocks and all that yeah yeah i mean and strikes at some point will probably be hard to come it's ten dollars more than a strife so you're paying for all the molding and you know the extra and you're gonna get more, more shots plastic, you're gonna get four sure. more shots and you're getting a strife right yep. way more plastic the other thing is the, the other side is paint it up this thing is gonna look amazing there's so much detail there's a lot there's, of just so, little, get a little closer oh man there's a ton of detail little dots for screws and, and holes and little pipes that go through this that you can almost take this in, in Art Deco way. You can take this kind of anywhere you wanted to, right? You could do so much different things. It's got grates and just all this really cool stuff. Yeah, man. I fall in love with it actually more and more the more I sit here and look at it. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, like, man. Get some time alone with the, uh... I really do. I really, I wish they would have went clear on the backside for that, but that, you know, that's a minor gripe. The jam door is really tiny. Um, not that these are probably going to jam that much. Uh, I might gut the front barrel, but really, I have no complaints. I don't know. Like, if it's I couldn't solid. find a Strife, the $10 more doesn't seem like too much more, because I get at least I get a 10-round magazine clip. Right. Um, which, believe it or not, 10 rounds are very tradable. People love their 10-round clips. Yeah. 10 and 12s, people really like these. And especially because you got the bumper on it, 
even like the even bumper. Back, look at that on the back. They, well, so the bumper good. also gives it just enough weight. Yeah. To where if you if you just hit it, it'll it'll and shake a little bit. I yeah. that they just fall out. Oh. It'll come right out. With I mean, we were on concrete, so yeah. I don't yeah. want to, but. Yeah, you just I'm work. digging it. I'm super digging. Even the even like the battery, the battery doors back here. We took it apart. And we were like, man, yeah, I like that it. battery cavity is super small. It's so I so mean, thin. It's, it's, it's very from the back. It's super thin from the back. Look at how thin. Look at that. It's just so. Here, give me the strike. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's what it's called. I mean, I mean, it's supposed to have a stock on it, right? Right. Yeah. But, yeah. But but man, like even if I put a Nerf stock on, I, I don't have. A, there's no Nerf stock even close to this thin. No, not that I can think of. Uh -huh. and, it, and even though it's thin, super comfy. Oh, yeah. Like, it fits right there in, in that little spot. Like, yeah, they just did a great job with the ergonomics. Fat, like, boom, <laughs> my fat just rolls around it. It's awesome. Super comfy. It's everything. ergonomic, ergonomic. That was the word I've been searching for for about two hours while we screw around this thing. No, man fat's better. Ergonomically sound. The other, like Arjang said, um, if you want to go double, very because it's so thin, normally I would be really pissed off if it was resting against my forearms. I, I think would, it stabilizes you if you're holding it straight out. Having that little forearm stabilization. It usually stabilization. bothers me for some reason with this because there's no weight to it. I, I don't even feel like it's there. Yeah. It's... I like it. I like it a lot. I do like it a lot. And I think that... I mean, you're going to see the same mods you normally put in a Strife. So it's nothing, yeah, so you're nothing gonna new. It. It's just I nice to have... I would impact zone. I, I like it's, it all. It's raised on both sides. I like the fact that it's not... It, it's like this nice raised... It's not a sticker. Yeah, nice raised yeah. lettering. I, I really... I like the cage. I even like this cage in the back. I feel it's like a, if you want to get saucy, you could just cut this cage out and let it just put a piece of plexi in there and let it ride. Oh, yeah. So much. Yeah, it's a lot of potential. I agree. So we're really excited. And we went and, <laughs> by the way, we went with the, we opened this one and played with it first. So it's not like these were doo-doo and it made this one look better. No. We like this from the giddy-up. That's true. So definitely true. definitely like this from the giddy-up. Um, there's not, I mean, there's a bunch of other stuff coming out this year. Sure. I think we've hit, the flagships have come out. All of the flagships, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. The Mastodon came out. That's all I care about. That's true. Yeah, the Mastodon was a lot of fun. I think all the flagships have come out. Uh, I, I mean, I'm... I'm 99.9% .9 sure the right. flags I have can, come out. I could bring some stuff up and see. Oh. Um, see what we got. And going. if this is the year, I don't know. I might be... Cool. When we do our January one, we're calling this the lost year of Nerf. The Mastodon is going to be the highlight of the year. Who'd have thought that mega... Let's see, Hyperfires, Tri-Strike, Strapo... Hey. Yep. Pocket Strike, Mastodon, Double Dealer, yep. Desolator, Long Arm. Atlas the Long Arm, oh, by the way, this is making up in future for the Long Arm because the Long Arm is going to be crap because it doesn't have a hammer prime. Just yes. FYI. Uh, Brainsaw, Incisor. Out, out. Uh, oh, yeah, we saw. Oh, Battle Scout. Oh, Battle Scout, that's the last one, which battle is basically. Scout. It's I think the modulus. It's a, it's a modulus. Yeah. Get, it's a modulus. Scout. I think it's a Tri Strike. Yeah. And then they have a bunch hammer. of new kits that are coming out. Tri Strike, that was the other thing. The uh, Rail Blow Dart. Right, but these, the flag, all the flags are. Out. Battle Scout's the only one that hasn't hit yet, um, which if I remember what, on, I think the Battle Scout is, yeah. it good. might be a Strife with a camera. Uh, I believe that's the one, yeah, It yeah, might yeah. be a Strife with a camera. So that one, that's there's the a last little bit one. of so unless that's some amazing, funsies there. It's, it's a rough, uh, the Tri-Strike turned out to be good this year so far. I liked it at least. The Tri-Strike? No, sorry, like the Apple Maps van just drove by. Like taking pictures of everything, so I'm like, oh, oh I can't maybe, wait for Apple Maps to be like, maybe there's no three one, dudes standing there recording something. It was an out of date joke. Maybe no one will drive in a lake. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Um, Whew. so Apple yeah, Maps. the tri strike turned out to be good. Surprisingly, this yeah. turned out to be pretty good, and then the Mastodon was absolutely awesome. And and then I wanted was, this to be awesome. I really did. The thing is, yeah. it's not garbage. It's just not worth seventy dollars. That's it. That's what it is. Yeah, it's a, that could be. If it. it was like a forty dollar boss truck, like, yeah. You know, whatever, mess around with it, but like, dude, at the price, 70 bucks. 80 bucks, I can't yeah, recommend it's it. Not, it's seven, 70 bucks is rough. Yeah. 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 It's, it's and then not. this, 70, 80 bucks so close. Bucks. It was so close to almost, like, if I don't say sing, perfection, but like. If it was single shot and did normal um, rival performance, it'd be I'd my pay, go to. I'd pay 40 bucks for it, no problem. Yeah, it'd be my go to rival. Yeah, I'd pay 40 bucks, Should no problem. Be. And I have enough 12. I think I have five. Hey, five. I was excited because I have five or six 12s in, like, at Oh, sure. I was like, I was juiced for this one. Yeah, I was really, I was more excited for this than that. Mostly because even if this was awesome, it was like almost as tall as I was. Now, so there's no way I was ever going to use sure it. I'm sure someone's going to be able to 3D print a part that stops the second ball from dropping. I mean, yeah, I'm sure people start taking this apart already and it's going to be like, oh, do this and then. Yeah. yeah. And if, if that works cool. and it's simple, I'll still keep it and play it as long as the performance is good. Sure. But it just sucks it out the box. They didn't get that right. I understand they want to do the two ball thing. It's a gimmick. But when it hurts performance that much, it's not worth it. Yeah, it, it, I mean, if it, if it was getting regular ranges, 
you could, I'd be like, yeah, you're shooting two shots, that's cool, and there's only six shots, that or sucks, even, but you're still getting, like, regular even range. Even the other shot came out of the fake other barrel. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that would be cool, How too, about that? shooting two at the same time. How about time. you chamber two, and we, we, we know we're going to get worse performance, because you're shooting two with the same amount of air prep, right? Or if you like, if it primed two, and you had a two-stage trigger. That'd be all, like a dwarf cut. Right, that'd be sweet. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that'd be so dope. Yeah, and so, it just had two giant plungers in here, uh, and just bumbling. more disappointment, I guess. Rival last year blew us away because the performance was so amazing. Yes. So the bar set really, really high, and these came under that bar for yeah. performance. And the ergonomically, these are much better than last year's blasters. Like the the, yes. the way they feel. Yes, I they're completely way agree. better. But they traded for the yeah. ri the rival performance that made rival yeah. better adopted than other platforms that have come out since. More, I've seen more rival than Boomco yep. on videos, people, pe other people's wars. I'm not even gonna say by our wars. Yep. Other people's wars, I see more rival than I do Boomco. Yeah, no, right? I agree. So, and you don't see the other stuff out there, right? Yeah. Rival's been adopted, whole new ammo system, so it debunked the myth that you need to have cheap ammo because Rival has that cheap ammo until recently. And people still went did it because the performance. Was yep. Yeah, performance These did not do that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I agree with it. So now I, I gotta I, take the reshelter. Nerf, you just gotta stop. Either stop trying to, or you need to come up with something completely different to do a shotgun. Yeah. Right, because the appeal of a shotgun is really that you just get There's that scatter spread. shot. Yeah. You can't get the spread with two, three, even four darts. No. Right? I mean, you're gonna have a real hard time. You, you need like six minimum. Yeah. And that's just gonna be a giant blaster yeah. or super long to reload. It's just, ah, man. Not, not there. Let it go. Oh well. Yeah, let it go, man. Just single shot. Let it go. I was waiting. Oh, jeez. Gotta be. Hey, I had a really rough day. All right, I'm no, gonna get it out. I'm, this is ther care. therapy for me. I had a hard time getting my hands on two of these blasters on some on some target biggity BS. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, that'll save that story for the next podcast. Word. But yeah. Yeah. Can we call it? What episode are we on? One oh six. Eighty nine. Is it only 89? 88 or 89. Good. I don't know if I'm 89. Salt of a nation. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, salt of La Machia. I would have put like disappointment. Because everybody else, I feel like all the other reviews have been like, these are awesome. And I'm like, really? Are we reviewing the same blasters? Now, to be fair to, to be fair to that, we did not put we did not put regular batteries in it. We want I wanted to see how it performed super stuff. So. Yeah. I guess it's just also because Because I wasn't impressed game. with the videos of it with batteries in it. Right, that's what I'm saying. I was watching the videos and I wasn't particularly impressed. I'm like, maybe it's just something when you get it, it's really awesome and it just feels good. Yep. And then I was like, yeah, yeah I still don't, nope. I don't really like any of this. Coming soon to a good that's little near you. Um, Boop. True facts. That's all I got. Yep. That's it. Nerfcast out. Peace. Happy tagging. Foamity foam and I'm foam y'all Cause I'm foam y'all And it's gone oh. <laughs> You even got some that shit, that shit. I know I'm like oh. oh You recorded? Yeah we're recording Oh I'ma count us down yeah, I'ma count us down I'ma count us down Alright Five Four Three Dos X One